Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Um, but for today's mod, guys, I do have a mod called GTA 5.5. Um, pretty much what this is, guys. It kind of changes a lot of things inside the game. Um, I'll start putting them on the screen as I play, but um, it changes things from world and graphics to vehicles to the police to gangs and to how pedestrians work around this whole world. So um, there's a pretty big difference it's not just like one thing but it's like a whole different way that the game operates as a whole um it's similar to other kinds of mods that like change pretty much how they change everything right so um so one thing uh some things that it changes around uh the world and graphics is more reflections you can see on this car is a lot more reflections as i drive it, it looks a lot cleaner it looks a lot more realistic in my opinion um so that's changed uh, the render distances are also changed uh, to increase uh, various lights, traffic, uh, and streets, and other miscellaneous things. Uh, everything's a little bit crispier. Um, like another thing is the sunlight is a lot brighter. Shadows are darker. Um, so you can see kind of here. See, it looks uh, pretty cool in my opinion. So I like drive under this tunnel. It just looks a little bit more. Uh, things just look a little bit darker, right? Uh, there's also subtle heat haze effects uh, around the peak times, night times are much darker, uh, and also like waves, the water waves in the ocean are a little bit uh, bigger. Uh, vehicle render distance is also increased. Uh, the emergency lights too, so as I get like police on me, that also changes. Uh, the lights on the actual cops looks a lot brighter, a lot more, so they're more visible, right? So if you can see like in real life too, here let me get some cops on me. Um, that also look they look a lot brighter look a lot more cooler and that's something that i noticed right away um let's go ahead and get some stars on me uh one to those please uh, four and then talking about the police um it also takes longer for the police to come get you so they're not randomly just spawned in front of you as you drive now so they kind of just like spawn at first and then uh, as time goes they kind of just follow you over time so it is a little bit harder for them to come get you see so you can see guys the lights look a little bit different i don't think those lights actually radiate in uh, the actual game without this mod um yeah but like, the, like i was saying cops they also drive different cars now so they are driving a more variety of cars uh there's some more uh pedestrians on the street too they're also located differently so there are more cops the more touristy areas compared to places where there's not so many people so there's that so you can see i'm gonna have four stars on me and they're not just randomly spawned as much anymore so i can actually have a chance of escaping but as you can see if i go over here i'll change that cop right there <laughs> so there's that um what else is there and also, put, I'll also put a little screenshot of what I'm uh, looking at. And then, uh, police are more diverse. Uh, they have different guns. Traffic's improved too. Sometimes they drive crazy, depending on the situation that's going on around them. Um, and the, the police also have, diff also have different tactics. So, pretty much di uh, different ways. I noticed that there was a lot more roadblocks uh, in this game with this mod. And again, going back to them taking longer to get you. I have four stars again, and I feel like there's not many. But I guess it's like a same different cars too. There's a lot more different cars that they're driving. But I guess it's a lot more realistic, right? I guess if you were playing in real life, oh, I guess you don't want to do this in real life. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in this game, sometimes there's just like crazy amount of cops everywhere. No matter where you are, they just spawn in front of you. So now it's a little bit more. Uh, they kind of just follow you as you go type of things and then they spawn as uh you're on uh i guess past like police stations and stuff or that they would normally be located at um so you have different cars here too with the detectives and everything on you and i feel like i'm talking a lot but i'm kind of just so much to this game uh that this mod changes i actually enjoy it it was like uh overall it was like a pretty it's like a, there's a, if there was a dlc update that rocks are just released uh, also something i noticed about pedestrians too is the way that they drive uh the cars that they drive so they have a lot more exotic cars or i should say this just a i want to say a lot more but there is a good amount more 
and there's also a uh, good like a big variety of what they're driving so there's a uh, oh my gosh <laughs> did you guys see that car fly and i broke its tires um but yeah they're driving like cheetos now and like actually dlc car so they've actually this mod actually adds DLC things this car it just flips off every car um there's like dlc cars now which is pretty cool too so you'll be seeing different cars that you usually don't see because they're dlc cars uh gangs too there's more gangs at night uh gang members there's like fights gunfights and there's some i commit uh do some hate crimes and i guess the the crime scene of this game in general is changed a little bit uh it's more enhanced i guess you can say and then also when it comes to pedestrians there's higher density of pedestrians people converse faster and more often and melee damage and what does it say here i'm reading off this uh this note the notepad the the note that the modder gave us uh, melee damage reduced to accommodate better melee fights, uh, melee fights, and then weapon impacts reduced so that people, uh, so that people die realistically. So, you know, I feel like it's kind of hard to show you guys gameplay on this, but I'm kind of just playing as I read this and show you guys, um, just because it's just so much as a whole. But I'm pretty sure you guys can see a couple differences too, especially like in the when it comes to like the views. So let me uh, actually change the time, put some sunlight. We've been in the dark this whole time. Um, I think that looks a lot better too with the light the car looks a little bit different just the scene in, in general so this like this is pretty much how the game will look like during the day so yeah this mod changes a lot i think it's definitely worthy to install so, um i'll show you guys how to install it in a little bit but i definitely would recommend installing it if you guys want to switch it up a little bit um pretty cool mod it was a lot this mod definitely does a lot and definitely adds some. Um, some fun to it also i noticed that i want to get five stars too because i don't i don't believe i have i'm 99 sure i don't have the, the the tanks and stuff of five stars but they have tanks and stuff here following me on it must be part of uh the part of this model where the police just have different vehicles so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed um i'm gonna show you guys how to install this mod now and then uh i'll be right with you guys all right all right, guys. So this is the mod right here. It's called Grand Theft Auto 5.5. So, and then if you go down, so there's a good. She's pretty much everything that I mentioned. Uh, I didn't mention everything. There's just so much, but this is a uh, this is an idea of what to, uh, the change that you should see with this mod. So it's a lot, right? World and graphics, vehicles, police, gangs, and pedestrians. Uh, so let's get to downloading this mod. So once you're on this page, I'll link in the description. Go ahead and click download. Go ahead and click download again and then uh, go ahead and open it up and then we're gonna go make sure you extract it guys because if you don't extract it the mod will not work so make sure you do extract it all right so and i don't think the mod is that big either so also if you're still here guys make sure to subscribe make sure to like this video i would really appreciate that and then let's see so once you are once you extracted it Oh, there you go. I didn't check. I'm just gonna extract it again. I'm just gonna replace it. Um, skip these files. All right, there you go. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna close out the unextracted version, and it's pretty much it right here, guys. So, all right. So the uh, what I have what I have behind the scenes running so this model works is scripted five, all right, scripted.net three. I am using OpenAV uh, to switch uh, to add this mod and the menu that's just a trainer that i use i was mentioned this and that's just uh just so you guys know what trainer i'm using so that is the way i spawn my vehicles and spawn around different maps so um there's that and then pretty much for this mod guys i have a couple pretty vague instructions it's easier to just show you guys but this is the mod right so the update and then update rpf so there's a couple files inside of here so what i like to do is go ahead and open up open ip we're gonna go ahead and let that load up. Um, as soon as it does, pretty much what I'm gonna do is, here. I'm gonna go inside of this update folder. I'm gonna go ahead into the inside the update RPF folder. And then as you can see guys, this might look familiar because all of this is from, it's literally, if, it's literally like the same path that you would take if you were inside your actual 
update our PF folder inside GTA 5. Um, right, so let me just go ahead and open this up. Let me go close out GTA 5 because it, if you don't close out your game, um, you might, you might, you probably will get an error that you can't install any mods. So make sure you do close out your game as well. Um, now that it's closed, I should be able to start adding this mod. So, so this is the folder, right? This is the mod that we downloaded. Uh, this, the, this is what you should see once you download it and extract it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, make sure you're in edit mode to an open IV. Uh, I'm going to go inside the update folder. And once you go ahead and inside the update folder, you're going to want to go in here too. So uh, I'm kind of going to, I'm going to kind of do both of them at the same time. Go inside the folders at the same time, just so I know where to install them. So um, as you can see back here, we have an update folder here. We have an update folder here, right? Make sure you are inside your mods folder too. So go to mods and then we, I'm going to go inside the update folder on open IV, going to go on the update folder on the mod and then go inside the update folder on the mod again and then update our PF in here. And then, so you can see <clears throat> we have these three folders inside actual under on our GTA five game. So we have common DLC patch X64, common DLC patch X64. So we're going to pretty much replace every single thing one by one. So um, go ahead inside the common folder on GT uh, on your mod. All right. And then common. And then as you can see, you have a data folder and this kind of just branches off. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to go ahead and drag everything. So this is the modded folder, right? I'm just going to drag and drop in here. So, and then pretty much everything that should be, that's inside the AI folder should be replaced with the modded AI folder, uh, levels folder, same thing and so on. So, and I'm not sure if I can just drag and drop, um, everything inside here since the start, but that's just the way, this is just the way that I'm doing it. So, and then, uh, so we go inside data. So we already replaced the data folder, so we should be good. Go back. So this data folder is done. So the common folder is pretty much done. So now we got the DLC patch. So go inside the DLC patch uh, and open IV, go inside the DLC patch in the mod. And then as you can see, we have very similar folders. So all I did here, guys, is just highlight all of them. So I'll click the first one and uh, hold shift and click the very last one and it should highlight all of them. So I'm just going to drag and drop. Boom. So all these folders should be uh, replaced with the modded folders. So go back. So we did comment and DLC patch. These are two done. So we got one more folder to modify, which is our X64. Go ahead inside the X64 in the modded file. And then we have two folders here. Go in here. You should see these two folders in here too. So all I did here, guys, is just drag and drop. Boom. And then that should be it. I believe that's it. Yep, yep. So that's it, guys. Um, I didn't try, right? It would be super easy to just drag and drop this whole update folder, but I didn't do that just because I wasn't sure if it would mess up other files. So that's just the way that I do it. That's the way that I did it for this video. And it worked for me. Um, so that's just, I'm just showing you guys how it actually worked for me. If it does work just by literally dragging from the very root folder, that's awesome. It, it saves a couple steps, but uh, it, this one just takes like an extra minute or two. So it's no big deal, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video. That's pretty much it guys. So once you are done with that, um, you have the modded files now. And then if you want to uninstall it, um, you would just replace these folders, right? Uh, let me go back. So you replace these three folders with an actual, uh, with the actual, with the authentic files, which should be outside of your mods folder. Cause if you go back, right, we modified the mods folder. So, um, these, these file paths should also be inside your actual update folder. So this is right here. So this is the original one. So you would go ahead and, and uh, and then just replace some, uh, you could just go in here and replace these three with the original file. So, so if I go to update RPF, um, you'll have these three and then just drag and drop these three into the actual mods folder and that should pretty much uninstall it. And, uh, it should replace all the modded files with the actual authentic files. So hopefully that made sense guys. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know, but that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the mod and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Take care guys.